What is up, guys? Don't forget to watch it. In fact, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I know, not one of my best intros, but whatever. But, you know. Okay, so I finally got the time to record the next episode. I'm sorry again for the light for the lack of videos recently I have been in the process of dealing with a lot of stuff going on in my life, and I'm trying to get more time to record um, I've just been away for so long doing stuff, and I feel bad But I went ahead and took care of a few small things on the Citadel And I also like did some stuff with the crew I just kind of it was basically just mild conversations and stuff and also like um, doing stuff and whatnot. So, um, I pretty much got everything under control now. I know there's still a lot of, uh, a lot of things for us to find for everyone. The Citadel, Target Jamming, Hades Nexus, Cluster Fossil, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I know that's going to be a lot of ground to cover, uh, but I am going to mainly focus more towards the story rather than worrying about like exploring other parts of the galaxy to find everything because I can always just do that later um, on my own time that way I'm not like taking up I'm not taking up oh <laughs> excuse me <laughs> I just ate before I started recording this sorry had some Taco Bell <laughs> um, so yeah that way um, I could explore a bit on my own and not have to worry about um, wasting um, Oh God, what's the word I'm looking for? Wasting video time, um, exploring everything. I can I can just get right into the story. So, but right now, so far, everything is 100% as far as I can tell. I know that in some systems, the Anus Basin, the Horsehead Nebula, um, as far as I know, and the Neba Cluster, uh, there's no nothing to explore there. So, um, I think I'll save the Speak the Quarians mission for last. So, I think we'll do some of the s more simple ones. Uh, let's do the Find X Cerberus Scientist mission. I'm sure that'll be a lot interesting to do. Oh. We've come quite a long way. And I also mentioned before that at some point I will bring Mass Effect Andromeda to the channel. I just don't know when. Because once I finish Mass Effect 3, uh, I want to kind of like put Mass Effect on the sidelines for a while because there's other games I want to play too. There's like The Last of Us Part 2 and there's also WWE 2K24 coming out soon. And I'm sorry I never got to the mail story on that. Um, like I said, I just had too much time. I was recording other stuff. I never got back to it. So I do apologize for that. But I will do my best to include both my rise stories in the new 2K24 that's coming out. So um, can't wait to share that with all of you and everything. So... But for right now, let's not worry about WWE. It is now time to find us some ex Cerberus scientists and hopefully help them out. Okay, and I know for a fact there's going to be a Citadel objective here. So let's see, who do I want to take with me? I'll take my love with me, my my Ashley, <laughs> my baby. And then, um, who else do I want to take? Do I want to take James? Do I want to take Liara? Well, let's take Garrus. Actually, you know what? No, let's take Edie. I, I think I'll keep Ashley out of this one. Sorry, Ash. Sorry, Ashley, my love. Nothing personal, baby. I'll come back for you soon. I'll take Edie and Garrus this ride along. Okay, so weapon exchange looks good. And I think weapons, as far as weapons go, I think we're good. I think I'll just keep on to that. My scorpion gun. A rifle and stuff. Ooh, you know what? Uh, what about my sh what about shotguns? Hmm. What if I took the rifle away? There we go. Ninety six. I have been I have been curious about the shotguns. I haven't really used the shotgun much, you know. And it's weird because usually shotguns can give off a lot of damage. Uh, let's up. Uh, let's let's. Auto level everyone, and I think we're good. We're good to go. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay. Set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. This sounds interesting. Jacob, it's good to see him. Better get these Cerberus bastards while we can. Hang on there, Jacob. We're coming, buddy. Good old Jacob. All right, let's no do it. Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. Let's move it. Let's move. What do people do to bring this down on their head? Oh, I love it. I love the shotgun. Push. But you know what? I always love my scorpion weapon. Maybe we can flag these guys. Watch for it. Harris? Roger that. Nice. Nice. Look for survivors. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, where are you, Jacob? There you are. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. I can hear you, Bryn. I can barely hear you. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Wow. Jacob, you've been busy, my man. <laughs> I don't know. She seems like a lovely lady. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Mm-hmm. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Oh, they yes, indeed. Recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise them. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. He it was his idea. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. Oh, God. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Yeah, damn straight we are. <laughs> Oh, it's good to see some familiar faces. Jacob, he's a, he was pretty cool. I liked him. Commander Shepard. Dr. Dr. Archer. Archer. We met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Yeah, well, he's the I'm son of a bitch who made his Grisham brother, Academy, who hooked up his own brother to that AI. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. 
I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. Yeah. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. Yeah, it took you long enough to realize that. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Yeah, I'll be a better brother for him than you ever will be, asshole. Thank you, Dor. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, let's go check on the situation. Now, I do know there's a Citadel objective here somewhere. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out okay, of the second. Okay, another cutscene. Great. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. Man, he's got some bright green eyes. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? What? A dangerous choice. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Oh, Jacob's always a stubborn man, but at least Shep at least I was able to convince him not to go. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Yeah. Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the collectors. I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting edge tech and all the personnel I needed. Mm -hmm. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. 
But then, life is full of uncomfortable irons. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When after Sorry about the vape thing again. My apologies. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive pitch was a researcher's paradise. The elusive man spares no expense for tech. That technical profession. It also strange to Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Darn it. Isn't everyone's? Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? There we go. I, I meant to select different levels. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life. Where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Oh, sure, no problem. But now that you brought women and children aboard, you're kind of complicating things a bit more. Well, apart from yourself. Never mind. Okay. Okay, data pack on the credits. Okay, now I know for a fact there's a Citadel objective here, and I'm pretty sure it's right back here. Yep, here it is. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Yep, someone's looking for an antidote for someone who was stabbed with a poison blade by Cerberus for a Turian. A Turian was stabbed by a poison blade from Cerberus, so that's gonna be. I hear you loud and clear, buddy. I don't want to die. Hey. You okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brit? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Oh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew they'd make a lovely Maybe. couple. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus. I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. <laughs> but you won't. You can't. Yep, he's got me there. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. Yeah. You bet. We have a mission. Let's get to it. We have a mission to object to to. Oh, it's good to see Jacob. It's really nice. He's pretty cool. I like. I actually like Jacob. He's a cool guy. He's very cool. 
Then again, I loved everyone on the Normandy crew. Okay, so I think it's about high time we start getting the we start getting the guns back online. And I'm pretty sure we go this way to do it. A hastily assembled militia is no match for a service force of any kind. You got your point. All right, let's get on up. Let's get on up to where we need to go. Here we go. Got the jump. Heads up! Nice. Shotguns are always fun. Okay. See ya! <laughs> He's floating in the air. <laughs> nice. Got it. Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. You get landing. Nice. See if I can shoot just the right angle. Oh, I got him! <laughs> From a long distance, too. Nice. I love this gun. You got something on you? Never mind. Wish I could have seen it. You got something on your face? Never mind, it's gone. Along with everything else. Okay, maybe I need to stop doing that joke. I've already used it more we than have once. To get up there and activate those AA guns manually. Easier said than done. Nice. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep on rolling. Get on up. Here we go. Nice. Power restored. Gun one reset. Circuit incomplete. The other gun is still down. Let's get over there. Hurry, 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 hurry. Move, move, move. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. Edie, I need you to fix this. I will make the repairs. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. Oh yes, especially now. We got this bad boy. <laughs> oh yes. What's that? I'm sorry I can't hear you over the sound of all the machines. I can't hear you over all the bullets that are flying. I, I really need to pick up better punch lines. It's whatever. How are the repairs coming? More time is required. Cerberus! Yoo-hoo! Nice shot, Garrus! Nice! Blew him to bits! Just how many more Cerberus shuttles are there? You know, you could just do that. You're right there anyway. But whatever. I guess I gotta do everything myself. Power restored. Circuit reset. Guns operational. Shepard, AA guns are back online. 
copy that. Let's get these people out of here. All right, let's move. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Yeah, let's do it. No time to waste. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Let's do it. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Nice. Alright, everyone here head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Suicide fighter? Get those people out of here. So they literally crashed right into it. Man, they're more desperate than I thought. We gotta move. All right, let's go. No time to waste. Double time it. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Oh, the weapon up. Whip. I was going to change my shotgun, but I guess it's too late now. Remind me to reassign my powers. Jake, bring up the main door. Okay. Here we go! Go! Go, 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 go! Whoa! Damn it. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. Nice. I think I put that one sticky bomb on the roof of the of the shuttle. Man, these guys are fast. Good lord, I hate those things. If you let them get too close, they can instantly kill you. That was the last crack, Billy. Back on the seat. Heads up. The place is overrun. We gotta go. Get it to you with the shuttle. Understood. Let's see if my shotgun can do any real damage here. Got it. Jacob, landing area clear. This place is crawling. We're bringing the shuttle to you. Roger that. All right, let's go. <laughs>
Uh oh. Jacob. Jacob saved my ass this time. Out by the skin of our teeth again, hey Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reavers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. Heck yeah. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander? I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectives. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Yep. Jacob Taylor is with them, and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Well, okay. Well, at least we got Jacob on our side and we got more. We're pretty much well over the minimum requirement of how many assets we'll need for the final battle, but it never hurts to gain a little more, you know? It's always nice to be prepared and be ready and do and use everything we got against the Reapers. So, better to be safe than sorry. Be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. Okay, never been let's see. Yeah, I enlisted to Come on, Dr. Chappell sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Again? The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yeah. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. <laughs> nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Heck yeah. Commander. Good job there. Memorial. Shepard, my sister got everything set up at the Citadel Memorial. She showed me what's going to put up on the wall. I discovered a few things about my sister's bag. I'll find a place in uh, and meet you there. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you on F point when you get here. Hey, Commander. Just wanted to let you know that I'm taken down at pur Purgatory. Oh, God. Take a break from Garrus. Oh, yes. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Commander, I find this message. I want to visit the Citadel. Oh my god, everybody wants to go to the Citadel now. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, first things first, I need to go speak with Dr. Chalk was and see what she's up to. She said she wanted to speak with me, so... First, I want to check on my love. How's she doing? Sounds like you got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children, could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose, that's got to piss him off. I'm glad that Jacob guy is going to be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex-Cerberus. Just saying. Commander? Okay. That's about all she has to say. I know there's a really fun scene with Ashley uh, later on. Play this game. What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? Oh God! I don't even know what that is. 
Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. <laughs> Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Sarah. <laughs> Stopped him from raising... Sounds like they're having a competition to, like, see who's better. <laughs> three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. <laughs> well, it sounds like you two are having fun. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just... Telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Later. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Okay. Let's see who is the better soldier then. All right. What you need, Doctor? Shepherd, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. Yes, we will defeat the Reapers, and we'll have Ceres Ice Brandy all around. <laughs> Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset my powers a bit. Um, oh god. There we go. Okay, uh, undo upgrade. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to re. Reobsessing some upgrades real quick. Um, impact radius by 30%. Increase recharge speed by 30%. Or increase force damage impact radius of combo destinations. Oh god, I didn't mean to go that far. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is seriously pissing me off. <laughs> okay, get that one. And then increase the damage done to shields and barriers by 75%. I love it. Okay. And now, uh, I also wanted to change throw. Okay. Uh, impact radius by 2 meters. Increase force by 40%. Ooh, I love that. Maybe they'll go really far. Uh, reset recharge time. Okay. Increase recharge speed by 60%. Nice. And then shockwave. These are like my personal favorite biotics to use. So I'm just kind of messing around with them a bit. Uh, force and damage by 30%. I want to increase the distance. And then suspend targets in the air for a short time. Increase the damage. There we go. Okay, now as for everything else, now we can auto-level up the rest. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that way I don't spend too much time on this, so we are good to go. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Oh boy. Just let those two have their fun. <laughs> They're just trying to be the better man. Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, seriously? What do you want now? I'm a busy man. I'm trying to save the world here. Or the galaxy. What do you want, Adams? Do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. 
Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, at least it was worth it. <laughs> All right, now, is there anything else I should know about? Garrus mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, knowing Garrus, that's going to be impossible. Okay, so... Well, I guess since, uh... I guess they're all insisting they want to go to the Citadel. It's like, geez, now they want to take the time to do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go ahead and see my friends on the Citadel. Just want to take it do a quick roundabout. Even if there are new galaxies to explore, I don't want to do them just yet because like I said, I'll do that on my own time. So that way it's not in the way. Alright, let's go see the Citadel. With any luck, I should have enough time to at least do one more mission. Because I might have to cut this video just a little bit underneath and under two hours just because I do have to work from when I recorded this. So yeah. Um... I know, it sucks to be me sometimes. But I say, why stop? Let's keep going. Let's not overthink it. Let's just keep going. And Anderson's apartment is going to be the very last thing we do. Do you need ground transport? Let's go to the... Let's go to the refugee camp. need to get to the refugee camp. Ashley said she was going to be there... For her sister, because, yeah, her sister's husband was killed in action, unfortunately. So, I want to go tend to my love first. Shepard, thanks for coming. I wanted to be here for you, Edge. Oh. See her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about it. You'll get through this. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he'd put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister is waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? She has a weird sister. But family is family. You can't judge them for what they are. Uh. All right. I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. Okay, take as much time as you need, baby. I'm always here for you. Okay, is there anyone else? Oh yeah, James. Oh yeah. So James, I invited James up to my quarters earlier and he was telling me he was thinking about joining the N7 program, the same program Shepard joined. Hey look, there he is. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. 
Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good yep, point. pretty much. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah, uh, careful. Oh, come on, you would think, like, F you would think in this era, you'd think there'd be a treatment for tattoo pains. Because, yeah, they do sting. Even when you just get them, they do sting for a while. <laughs> I'm waiting. Reason why I don't really have tattoos is just, I don't know, I don't, I don't see myself as a tattoo guy, you know? I mean... I mean, tattoos are... I'm not saying tattoos are not cool or anything. I'm just saying. I don't know if I've really been much of a tattoo person. Plus, my body doesn't... I don't know. My body could handle a tattoo. <laughs> I figured those would be more suited for guys who are more buff, you know? I figured it'd be more fitting for them. But, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, women all, women themselves have tattoos as well. So, you know, it is what people like. So, okay. So, now, James is done. Oh, James is going to be back at the gambling table. Well, I'm not going back there. So let's go to... Who else wanted to... Oh, yeah. Um, let's go to the... Let's go to the Presidium Commons. Because I believe Javik said he wanted to explore the Citadel. Oh, no, wait. He's in the embassies. Sorry. Uh, but there is Liara. There is Liara, so, ugh. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going, gotta keep going, going, going. I know, it seems like every video I do, I always end up coming back to the Citadel. It's ridiculous. Alright, so. Liara, I think, should just be over here. Man, they really, the Citadel is huge. What we are allowed to explore on the Citadel is probably just a small taste of what the Citadel, how big the Citadel really is. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding I was very young yeah that's actually pretty cute no one else thought it was funny oh the lecture my mother gave me but she did buy me my first history book the next day I miss her Shepherd what was she like she was confident and kind she loved to wear yellow I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Aww. Liara is so be so nice. I really like Liara. You know, if I ever played, like, Female Shepherd, I'm Liara would probably be my ro You can romance Liara as male or female Shepherd, so... I wish I could do the same with Tally as female Shepherd. I mean, if but like male Shepherd, I would love to. I mean, Ashley's always gonna be my first, and Tally is actually my second when it comes to uh, romance partners. So, um, yeah, love is love. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I feel bad for Liara and her mother. You know, like. Because we ended up having to kill her mother from the first Mass Effect because she was being possessed by Sovereign because she was indoctrinated. 
so sad that we ended up having to kill her. Please select a destination. Please select a destination. Okay, so, um, who else? We got Liara, we got James, Purgatory, Joker, and Cortez are there. And Arya Talok is there. Doctor, Jacob. Oh, yeah, Jacob. Miranda, at Javik. Okay, so, well, I guess I'll go to Purgatory next. Good lord. All this for a freaking conversation? <laughs> Oh, man. It's the little things you have to enjoy when saving the galaxy. Just think of it. When it come, now, when it comes to the Citadel objectives, for those who are looking for something while we're out exploring when you're trying to complete these tasks, I might just complete those on my own. I mean, I'll get the objects like when I'm out on the missions, but get it, if I have time during the videos, maybe I can run to the Citadel and give it to pe give the people what they're looking for, but it always just depends. All right, so where is... Oh, there's Joker. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and eating? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Go hang out with Dee Dee. Show her a good time. <laughs> okay, I think James was also. The Alliance is bringing medical. Yeah, James is also here. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. Gotta watch out, cause he's gay. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your taste. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. So there... So yeah, I had to make that so I wouldn't make eye contact with uh, James. Because you can be in a relationship with Cortez if you're male Shepard. Because obviously if you've noticed from Robert's pat... Cortez's past scenes, um, he is gay. He had a husband. So, um, male shepherd is the only one that can romance him, if you so choose. If that's your thing, you know, I won't judge or whatever. But, um, and another fun fact is, is that, um, if you don't hang out with Cortez a lot before your final battle with the Reapers, Cortez will end up dying. So you always want to kind of interact with Cortez every now and then. And once you hung out with him long enough, um, then he'll survive is fi the final battle with the reapers so it's always a good it's always a good thing to like keep that in check okay so let's go to make a make a quick trip to huerta memorial because i know for a fact that we can at least get rid of one task oh wait there's jacob right there hey shepherd i'm glad to see you i know things are crazy right now exactly so you have to take the moments when you can what's going on with the crucible 
That project is crazy, freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They're having a baby. But Jacob doesn't want to name it after me. Come on, man. Shepard's a cool name. Spread it around, you know? Oh, that's okay, though. I'm sure you got your reasons. I know. Sometimes like, if, you, if you get roped into me, you sometimes get roped into a dangerous mission. So, can't blame you for talking talk him out of the name. <laughs> All right. Here's the doctor. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. There we go. So, yep, we got that taken care of. And, yep, Thane's gone. He was in here, but yeah, he's gone now. Oh, no, wait, he was in this room, I think. But yeah, he's gone too. And so is Cole yet. So they're both gone. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the Memorial Hospital. So now, excuse me, Doctor, get out of the way. Got a galaxy to save here. Thank you. Okay, time is short, but we will make progress. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time to do the Quarian mission, uh, but I will do the inves investigate the Asari colony. Okay, so we got to get to the Citadel embassies because there's just a couple more loose ends I need to take care of. Here's Javik. Here is Javik, the Prothean, the last surviving Prothean. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel, alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire, the power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember.
remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among them... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Wow. It's not every day people get to visit the one species that existed 50,000 years before them. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that was sick. I'm pretty sure Javik was a DLC into the game itself. It wasn't he wasn't like made from the base game itself. So Anywho, is there anything else? Uh, Commander Bailey. Oh yeah, Spectre Office. Miranda. She wanted to talk. Nothing to talk to Bailey about. It's pretty much same shit, different day with him. <laughs> you know, so. Alright, let's go see what Miranda wants and then I think we can finally get out of here. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet. But my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Damn. Sounds like Miranda's still having problems with her sister. Or at least she's just concerned about her. So... So yeah, the Spectre Regulations, you can buy certain weapons here, but um, it's also where, like, if you missed any... Din Corlac's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public locations. He is last known as an office suite near the human embassy. Oh yeah, Din Corlac. He's a Volus, if I remember. So yeah, if you go to his embassies, you can find out that he's been captured. I think he was... I don't think I read an email about that. Or maybe I just came early to the, to the party. I'm not sure. Okay, so now... 
Let's see. Let's go to the embassies. Yep. Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Do it. Let's go. Play entry one. See what's going You've on. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC. But Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You gonna go on about them all night? Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid? Zaid? Oh yeah, he's that guy that... He's that bounty hunter that uh, Sir Elusive Man hired in our last game. So there's the bug he was talking about. All right. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Ooh, sounds like he's in danger. We better hurry. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Um, is he on this side? Damn, wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? I think I hear gunfire in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... Whoa. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. 
Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... Oh, boy. You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Well, I guess it worked Daniel, out. What are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Oh boy. Zaid, you're a twisted... You're a twisted bastard. That much is certain. So what did he mean by the docks? Docks holding area. Okay. I guess we'll find out what Zaid is up to. My goodness, I did not expect the Citadel trip to go on longer than it should. <laughs> That's why I gotta tell you, there's so many interactions in this game. It's phenomenal. <laughs> don't be surprised if I don't finish this game till like part 20. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it doesn't go on that long. I'm hoping to like maybe finish it like part... 12? I don't know. <laughs> it just depends on how long I can... It just depends how long I can... Um, get through the process. <laughs> okay, so... Saeed, I think, is over here. Yep, there he is. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. And I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk? Don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Do you know the current leader of the suns? Vosk, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Oh, man. So, yeah, Vosk, he was the one that Zaid wanted revenge on. For trying to kill him. But we ended up losing him. But it sounds like he already ruined himself, so... Yep, so much for that. 
Okay, I think I can finally say with certainty now that we are finally done with everything we can do on the Citadel, character-wise. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's right, Garrus. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought... If this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. <laughs> so? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. <laughs> but I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Oh, Garrus is so fun. I love Garrus so much. <laughs> you know, if I played female Shepherd ever, I might Figured I wouldn't mind romancing him. Stupid I don't know. Just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. Who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. <laughs> that was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Miss on purpose or shoot target? I'll miss on purpose. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. <laughs> it's windy up here. Think I'm going to erect a monument right here. Bronze this gun so the whole galaxy knows. That you're the king of the bottle shooters. Glad you're around, Garrus. Never know when the bottles might revolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Garrus. If only you knew. Thank you again, Commander. Okay, finally. We're out of here. <laughs> oh, boy, goodness. Whew. Well, that's what I would call a field trip. Jeez. Liaris mentioned something about you. Yeah, I already met up with her. Thank you. Okay, so I just need to check on... I just wanted to check on my love real quick. See if that scene's gonna happen. Commander. No? Okay. Alright, so... 
based on the time I have left, I should have just enough time to do one more mission. So let's do it. Let us do it. Let's get out of here. All right. Now, next up is... Investigate the Asari Colony. We're back in business now, people. No time, no more time for fooling around. But... I found something. Yep, I figured as much. There's gonna be more wreckage to be found and more planet, more stuff to find. 25%, holy crap. Okay, let's see what we got here. We're looking for some... What are we going to find here? I mean, I've always wondered. Can you imagine if there was actually a lot more life out there in the galaxy? But another question is, if so, then why have they never made contact with us? Or rather, maybe it's because no one's like had the guts to like go out into deep space and find out why. Deleted. You know? You never know what's really out there. I mean, I know Mass Effect's a fictional game, but you know what? Who's to say there isn't more life out there in the galaxy? What do you got? What do you guys think? You guys think there's more life out there in the in the universe, or are we the only species apart from animals um, that are really out there? Library of Asha, nice. So that'll be another Citadel objective completed. But I will do that on my own time to turn that in. In fact, I could probably wait till the very end to turn it in. It's not like it's going to matter. Okay. And then there should be another place here. Uh-oh. 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 I found something. Oh, of course you did. Okay. Than light, I need time. 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 Go. There we go. Nice. Alright, 100% completed. Nimbus Cluster. Nice. Alright, now the only thing left to do is to investigate the Asari Colony. And there shouldn't be anything here to discover. Alright, here we go. Time to see what's going on in the Asari Colony. And speaking of Asari, I think I'll bring Liara for this one. <coughs> Should I bring Ashley this time, or maybe I should just, um, or should I bring Garrus? Or Edie? Maybe Javik? Um. Let's do Ashley. Yeah, let's bring Ashley along, because why not? It's hard to say for sure who else to bring along on this quest, so why the hell not? Um. Let's see. I want to give Asari the scorpion gun, because I bet she would love having that thing. And then as far as Ashley goes, I think we're good with that. Okay, upgrade all of Ashley's skills, get Liara done, and I think we're good to go. Let's do it! Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. 
Indeed. All right. Let's Another go. shuttle. Still warm. Sounds like someone else is here besides us, if it's still warm. All right. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Liara, you always seem to give us goosebumps when we go into places like that. Could you, like, stop? Sounds close. <clears throat> A little too close. God. Do you have to give us the heebie-jeebies? Seriously? What was that? Stay sharp. I heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> Damn it, Ashley! <laughs> You're scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> this is spooky. Nobody's home, obviously. Okay. Oh, wait. Let, let me read that. Students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from external communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has to give us. Matriarch Gall Gallahay. Oh, God. Reapers. This was the Commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want without that Yakshi? Anything useful? A map showing the nav point location of a bomb. Some room called the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Yeah, it might be for the best, if there's no survivors. Oh dear. Whoa. Okay. Oh wait, is there anything over here? I guess I can't interact with the council. Mm. Bypass this door. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. Oh dear. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Let's go. I don't think she feels like waiting. Go to the 
tell Westra I love her. Tell her... Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Westra. One... Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so... <gasps> oh, sounds like she... Another dying missions. Like the Krogan dying missions Not wasn't sure bad how enough. I feel about doing the Asari's dirty work. We need them on our side. Well, Asari Command owes us big time for this. Agreed. What the hell? Whoa. What was that noise? Oh, it's a banshee. Shit. Oh wait, I forgot to reassign my uh <laughs> Uh there we go. Holy crap. Oh dear. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? Good lord. They're harvesting everybody. Humans, Asari, Turians. They're harvesting everything in their path. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing for air. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! Where is she going? The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. You know, I would love we'll to... meet you there. I wish Thank I could do that so too. I would love to be able to hover above the air with biotics. That'd be cool. <laughs> oh man. That's insane. Okay. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. And those Reapers are gonna pay for us. They're gonna pay with their life! They'll pay for everything they've done! Oh, I almost got a turkey! Nice! Oh, that was cool! I used to melee check to push him and then he blew up in the distance. That's awesome! 
Oh. Another banshee. Dear Lord. Man, these things are tough. We gotta move it. We gotta move it. Hurry. Another commando got overrun? This must have been chaos. Or they panicked. Asari commandos have decades of experience. They don't panic. Doesn't matter how long you've been fighting, you never know what'll break your unit. All right, we gotta hurry. There's not much time left. Hurry. Okay. Go 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 go. There's the bomb. And Falaire. Rila, wake up. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? Oh, God. Don't tell me she... Begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Oh shit. They're back. They're back. Get away from here! Oh crap! Oh man! Let's see if an up close shotgun attack will work. Ow. That's the last one. For now, let's get back to that bomb. What is going on? Falaire, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. She's got the detonator. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! She's giving her own life. To stop the Reapers, and to stop her from becoming a slave. She's already being indoctrinated by them. Oh god. Those things are ugly as hell. Oh my god. Get out! Go, 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 go! Oh!
Fire in the hole! Whoa! Damn. That's one more daughter Samara doesn't have now. Folaire is all she has left. Rila, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Falair, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Falair. Mother, no! My daughters, you are all so much stronger. No, you don't. You are not killing yourself. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Oh, man. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Oh, man. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Yep, shouldn't be that difficult to find. Oh, man. That's gotta be rough. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Well, there you go. Just another day saving the Asari and everything else. Alright. Well, I think there's one last thing I need to do. Of course I do. Crucible update. Thank you again for all you did to our group out there. For this. Oh yeah, no problem. Citadel meetup. Oh yeah, I already did, Jacob. Headed for the front lines. I've finished my business on Lasus. I would offer to travel once again. The code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Sorry, squad. Ready. Well, I might visit Asari on my own time. But I do want to check in with the rest of my squad. Let's see. Where's... Oh, there she is. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there... I just wanted to read them again. Yeah. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of the Asari I ever want to see. 
Yeah. Shepard? Yeah, well, you know what? Shepard always has weird friends, but you know? It's like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vandoma, and the Jatu turned against the Jar. So Sounds like they're telling war, war stories to each other. Nobody really ever gets their act together. <laughs> the Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Yes, of course. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Couldn't agree with you more. What's next? It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into reapers? Okay, well, I'm not going to hang around forever to it hear all the other wars. So. Ensures you never run out of camp. I mean, I would love to hear more, but unfortunately... The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Yes. Indeed. All right. Just want to check on Joker and Edie real quick, and then I think it's time to call it quits because it's just about high time for me to start getting ready to get to my other job, unfortunately. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. True enough. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh man. All right, you guys. Well, unfortunately, if I didn't have if I didn't have to work tonight, I could do the quarry mission real quick. But I think I will save that for next time because I know there's a bit more to the Quarian sto help the Quarian story, like helping out the Quarians, and then because we also ending up helping out the Geth, I believe too, right after. So I'm sure that'll be another fine episode to look forward to. So again, I will do my best to get the next episode up. Um, even though I've recorded this, it's like 10.42 p.m. right now, but don't be surprised if this video doesn't get uploaded till like later in the next day. Just probably because I have to leave within the next half an hour to get to my, to get to work. And, uh, yeah. So, by the time I finish recording this, I won't be able to actually upload it until like whenever, you know, whenever you guys are watching this. <laughs> Basically is what I'm saying. So, but at least I was able to get more Mass Effect on here and... I will say, look forward to more coming. We're coming close very soon, I believe, near the end of this. I mean, there's still the apartment DLC to explore as well. And we're going to save that for the end, like, before we hit the Cerberus station. Because I know once you hit the Cerberus HQ, um, then it will lead you into the very final mission. The final attack on Earth. Because the Crucible, I think, will be ready at that point. But... 
for now, <clears throat> we're not quite there yet, but we are getting there somewhat. So we'll see where we're at when everything's said and done. So, but for now, guys, thanks again, everybody, so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like if you're enjoying the series. And I hope to, and I pray to be done with Mass Effect soon, because I really want to get some other games on the channel soon. And, yeah, I'm kind of a... I'm desperate man right now. Like I said, I'm trying to make more time to record for you guys more. So I hope you look forward to it. And I hope to see you guys more. And I hope to see you guys in the future of my videos and stuff and everything. So, but I always do my best for you guys. And always feel free to check out some other games that I have played if you're ever interested to check it out and stuff, you know. Or check out my Fortnite videos. I don't know how often I'll be uploading Fortnite videos as far as that goes. I mean, I am kind of winding down the series a bit. I haven't recorded it in so long. So, maybe I might come back for just like a surprise video and stuff just to see what's what and everything. And then we'll see what happens but for now guys thanks again everybody so much for watching and as always i will see you guys me and shepherd will see you guys in the next wave ta-ta for now hey stand at attention sir that's more like it that's right you better salute your commander I'm right in front of you you better be saluting me at all times big boy <laughs> all right you guys see you in the next wave ta-ta for now